Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm Felicia, and today, oh my god, there's lots of, oh my god, it wins, and I have like cat hairs all over my camera. Sorry about that. Today, I'm trying a completely new experience. I am becoming a new woman. Look at my nails. Boring. Bare. Same old, same old. I am for the first time ever in my life. Obviously, I've gotten my nails done, and I've painted my own nails. But I'm getting extensions. <gasps> I'm so excited. And of course, I got to bring y'all with me both to get it done and to show y'all like as much of the process as I can. But then we're also going to see how I survive because I've heard <laughs> that there is a big transitional period from going from all natural to getting extensions. How to use your phone, how to put on jeans, do the whole thing. So let's see how my nail turns out and then we'll see if i can actually survive with them <laughs> so let's go back and my nails are done they're so cute so i forgot to say that earlier i realized i went to vanity projects it's in chinatown i saw marina it was great she was super nice and like look at this so i saw i was looking for places to get my nails done i found them online i started looking at their instagram and there was a photo which I th I'm pretty sure that she was the one that did those nails where they had these like citrus nails, which like, can you see that? Do you understand that someone painted that on my nail? Like that's insane. So I emailed them with like the inspo pic and was like, I really like this, what should I, what should I book? So they booked me in. It was a two hour appointment. It cost $205. Uh, and it was great. So Vanity Projects Marina. So I went in and said I wanted the citrus. So she did that. And again, look at that line work. Like she painted every single one of those lines. It is insane. But then I said I didn't have any exact idea what I wanted for the rest of the nails. So I said I was a bit flexible. So she showed me three options of idea she had and I said she asked what I liked and if I like wanted any of them and I said I like all of them you choose so she chose this like blooming effect where it's like you make a little dot but it, like spreads out and it is so cute and it really matches like the vibe so I am so happy it is so cool what they can do honestly if you have a nail tech or someone who does your nails 
take care of them because like this is insane and she was so sweet and like everything was just great but now <laughs> is the next part which is me surviving i went straight <laughs> from vanity projects to big bud press and tried to was gonna try on some pants i can say as my first time with nails maybe not the best place to start it was a bit of a struggle but i'm getting better i think but i'm still not really used to it and every time you like forget and you push something with your finger like if i do like this with my nail because it's so new i'm assuming it will get better it like hurts because it feels like my nails are so sensitive so I'm trying to figure it out, <laughs> but we're working on it. But they look cute. So I'm gonna continue <laughs> living my life and I will update y'all on the progress of surviving with nail extensions. But let's be real, like they're not that long. <laughs> because I've never had nail extensions, they're long for me, obviously. And it's a very new feeling. But who knows, this might be the new me. Maybe I'll look like this all the time now. So yeah. I'm going to keep moving and grooving with my nails, and I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all, I am sad. It is time for this era to be over. I'm saying goodbye to my nails today. I am running late because I was a little bit slow this morning, but I am on my way to go get these nails removed because they've started to grow out a lot and it's starting to bug me, but I gotta say, like the nails look insane like it's been four weeks since i got them done and they still look great like i have zero issues with them so <clears throat> this is kind of sad but i just feel like it's time i want to get them off because i mean on some of my nails there's like they've grown out a lot i know oh my god what's wrong with my pinky but yeah it has been a transition of getting used to them. I feel like I've gotten a lot better. Sometimes though, when I type, it sounds very aggressive, but I'm super happy with them. If you have not gotten nail extensions, I'd say functionality and look wise, I recommend. And I'm gonna tell y'all my full final thoughts once I've gotten these removed to see how my nails underneath look. So time to go to the salon. It's been a few days since I got my nails removed and I wanted to tell y'all a bit about how my nails turned out and my like final thoughts on the whole experience of getting nail extensions for the first time. So I went to a salon that's a bit closer to me and I just asked if they could remove them. They said that they could. I think I paid 20 bucks yeah, I paid $20 to get them removed. So I started by filing down my nail. Then the nail tech had to use like in a, like a chemical, I guess it was, to remove the adhesive that was like under the nail extension and then had to file it again. <laughs> it took him a sec. And then I got just like some nail oil and stuff, but this is how they look. I feel like they look fine. You can tell like at the tops of my nails, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, is that it's a little like worn down, but I think honestly, the biggest thing was just like the removing of it, that there was a lot of filing and it feels like that's more what did something to my nail than the actual extension, but I'm still happy. My nails still look good and it doesn't feel like they're destroyed. So I'm happy with that. I would say from my first time trying nail extensions, it did not ruin my nails. So I don't think it will ruin your nails either unless you have like, you know that you have frail nails that aren't that strong. Maybe they can't handle it, but for me it was fine. So I'm happy with that. I was worried my nails would be ruined. They have not been, so that's good. But then the overall experience, I would, I talked about it in a clip that like the first thing I did was go try on clothes, which was probably the dumbest thing I could do. Cause I could tell you buttoning pants 
for like 15 minutes after getting my nails done oh my god <laughs> i don't know what i was thinking but i made it work i managed to try them on sadly i did not buy any jeans or any pants but it worked out and my nails were a bit sensitive like the first couple of days because i think i don't know if it's that way every time you get nails or if it was just because my nails have never had like any extra weight like obviously it's not you don't feel it like it doesn't it's not heavy but i feel like for your nails if that's a new experience they might be a little bit sensitive so mine were so i just had to avoid or i tried to avoid i didn't manage all the time to do things how i usually do them with like my nails like this because then it would hurt like hell but that passed and i feel like i adapted pretty quickly you have i did have to relearn how to do lots of stuff like next time you do something like i was taking a card out of my wallet when i was like at target and normally i would just like with my fingers like this but now i had to like slide it up and then grab it and you use way more of your like actual like fingers and like the pads than just like the tips which is very interesting i've never reflected <laughs> over how you use your fingers but now i have very interesting but i feel like it was pretty easy to adapt i think i might have talked about it already but sometimes if i was on my computer or at work and like typing something it was very like nail asmr <laughs> but honestly i think that was just because i don't do a lot of computer work so i could also just be a bad typer who knows but i was very happy with the nails they held up great like my nails obviously started to grow out but there was no like destroying of the nails the art wasn't like getting ruined like they held up super super well but i will say once the growth when it started to grow out a lot it was a little annoying because if i were to like move my hair or do something sometimes on like the little bit on like the end of the nail my like a strand of hair could caught and i'd just be like oh it would just be like one of those things it's like have you all seen those memes where it's like when you're on the verge of a breakdown and then your belt loop gets stuck on a door handle that was kind of it for me like if it was if i was doing great it didn't really bug me but if i was already like stressed and that happened i was like why would i do this <laughs> not now but that was only towards the end and honestly that was bearable I think some days I was just not in the best mood and then it was kind of annoying. But I can say right now, I am so sad and I have officially been converted. Like I was slightly peeped at my nails towards the end, but also maybe just to do with that. I had a lot of stressful stuff going on, but right now I want them back. Like immediately after when I left the nail salon, I was like, oh my God, my nails look great. And then I was like, then I looked down and I was so sad. So I have been converted. I have zero money now because it's going towards the end of the month. But when I get my next paycheck, I'm going to go get my nails done. So if y'all have any suggestions on what I should do, because I haven't decided what I want. Obviously, it's towards summer now. And I'm going on a little vacation with a couple of my friends in the beginning of June so i need to think of like what do you think would be like a cute summer nail it's giving vacation and specifically for june i feel like it's giving beach because we will be going to the beach on our vacation so let me know what y'all think i should get but yeah it is definitely a learning curve if you've never had nail extensions before but honestly it was doable like the only thing i would say is like if you're like me and you have a wallet that's like slightly annoying and you're going to target or somewhere to buy stuff or any store go to self-checkout so you don't feel stressed because that was the only thing that was annoying where i was like nervous when i was like trying to pick up my card and then i had to put in the pin and why are the pin pads on cards i know it's because people you don't want others to see your coat but why are they so small like they're really small it's like hello like do i just have big fingers i don't know it just that was also 
very much part of the learning curve. But I feel like it went pretty quickly. And aesthetically, like I can say right now in this moment how I feel, I always want to have nail extensions. Like I loved it so much. It makes it made me feel a lot better. It just was super cool. I was always so happy when I saw them. So I'm definitely a nail extension girly now. And I'll of course bring y'all when I get my second pair done. But yeah, also shout out Vanity Projects and Marina who I saw there. Recommend the salon, recommend going to her. It was all amazing. I had a great experience. Y'all saw the artwork. She was insane. I cannot believe someone can paint that on a nail. And it went by pretty fast. I think I had a time for two hours, but I think it took less than that. I think it took like one and a half or something. So amazing. So happy with how all of that was. Super friendly people at the salon. Totally recommend. So yeah, I am now a nail extension girly. But thank y'all for coming with me on this journey when I tried it for the first time. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and let me know if y'all also are nail extension peeps and send me pics, DM me pics of your nails if you have cute nails right now. I would love to see them. And yeah, please like this video and comment down below and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace. Have a good day.